this is the lesson for book 2b 12f scale drawings now scale drawings are just what we need to be able to do to represent the real world in smaller pictures so people like architects you have to use it all the time people like map designers or any sort of game designer use it all the time so we're just creating smaller images that stay in the same scale and look exactly the same as they would do if they didn't have any measurements on them now the example in the book um, says one centimeter is 40 centimeters meaning that every one centimeter in the map or the drawing is 40 centimeters in the real world okay so if I draw five centimeters that becomes 40 times 5 which is 200 centimeters or 2 meters okay I'm going to be working solely in centimeters as the question tells me to but if I had kilometers or if I had millimeters I'd be trying to turn it into the centimeters here to make it easier for myself so I've got real world 180 centimeters and 100 centimeters so I'm going to divide both of those by 40 to get the drawing size which is 4.5 centimeters and 2.5 centimeters okay I'm using squared paper which is actually a centimeter just to help me out with the corners but as it says it's a rectangle I could be measuring that they're all 90 degrees so I've got 4.5 to draw there's my pencil here we go uh, 4.5 <laughs> and 2.5 being two sides I have turned it round but that's not going to make a difference because all the question wants us to be able to do is measure the diagonal okay so there's my pool table where I've got 4.5 there 2.5 there and if we measure it the diagonal exactly I'm getting it as about 5.1 or 5.2 if I was then asked to scale it back up which I think we are uh, we need to do going from here to here so that's times by 40 which is 204 centimeters for the questions that relate to this uh, the first one would like you to copy the real life size of the penny farthing into the table and then what is the scale drawing size so you need to work them out using the scale number two you need to measure the lines and then scale up the size of the sides think carefully about if angles are going to change number three you need to draw the diagram to the correct scale and number four you need to draw some arrows which are the correct size or you can maybe draw some little buildings 